And so it's funny because I'm giving the testimony. Today's her birthday. And um, I was supposed to give it a couple of weeks ago, but it just worked out to where today <laughs> I'm giving it to. So just so you could appreciate the depth of the testimony, I'm going to give you a short timeline. Um, I was 17 weeks, 17 weeks pregnant, and I went to the doctor. I went back at 20. You're supposed to find out you have a boy or a girl. Um, it's a sonogram. I found out I had a girl, and she has half a heart. But let's go and look and see if, you know, that's really true, if she really does have half a heart. So you have to go for, like, an extra long sonogram where they just have you laying there, and they just going and going. And it was like, yep, she got a half a heart. That's it. And I was like, oh, okay. So then we went to another appointment. And at that appointment, I had an option where I could keep her or I could abort her. And it was... Um, they offer you abortions when your child um, has something so severely wrong with them that you may not want to have to deal with it. So I said, it was at 26 weeks, I said, um, well, <laughs> I wasn't going to nobody's church. I said, but, you know, if God gave me this child, obviously he wants her to be here, so we're just going to have to tough it through. Let's just see what happens. Let's roll the dice. Um, in three months, when she was three months old, we came to this church. My cousin was going here at the time. He had been in jail, and he had got out, and he was like, cuz, you got to come to this church. They picked me up from jail. They gave me a place to stay. <laughs> he was like, they put me in school. My life is changing. I can speak in tongues. I was like, okay. He was like, I'm with a church girl. I was like, oh, I'm really coming up there now. <laughs> so I came up to the church. Um, she was three months. And I was like, okay, I'm kind of feeling it. Um, I like it. So I came back. And so that's when I started coming to jump. Um, now fast forward to this year. No, not this year. 2018, we had the baptism. And before the baptism, I had told Bishop, I was like, listen, we need to do a procedure because they're saying that everything's not. They did a temporary situation. Wasn't sure if it was going to you know, last forever, the initial surgery that they did, so we got to go back. And he was like, um, I said, we're discussing when we're going to do another surgery. And he was like, I'm not comfortable with surgery. He was like, there's no surgery. She's not getting surgery. And I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> Dr. Hepburn, I'm not really sure, but the cardiologist has said, like, you know, this is what needs to happen. And I was just thinking, maybe he just don't understand, like, what we're talking about here, like, I'm not a nurse. I can't really break it down to him. I'm trying to, like, draw pictures. And he was like, no surgery. And then he walked up. And I was like, oh, he, oh, he, he gone in there. The conversation over. He dropped the mic on me. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, so then we had the, the baptism. And my daughters both said they wanted to get baptized. And I was like, all right, cool. We're going to the ocean. We woke up late that day. <laughs> I was speeding, like, to get the new Smyrna. And we got there right as everybody was going in. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. And then when he got ready to dunk her, he said, your healing can be right now if you receive it. And she received it. And when she got done getting, when she came back up, she um, was, like, pressing in. And it's nothing like your child being able to press into the things of God. Um, but she pressed in right there at the ocean. And she received her healing. That day we came to service, Bishop had said, um, he called us up. I don't know if you guys remember that, but he had called um, me and my husband and Sanaya up here, and he was like, you could receive your healing today. And at that very moment, we all started worshiping, and she was right here, <laughs> breast in. I was over there, and my husband was over there, and she was worshiping for her, like genuine worshiping, nobody telling her how to do this. This is her getting into the presence of God, and you can't pay for that. You can't pay for your child knowing how to get into the presence of God at the age of 11. You can't. Um, uh, you you cannot. So that was automatically just like bang. Um, one thing I do want to say: the two thousand, the yearly seed Pastor Elliot mentioned. I've been paying that seed since I've been at this church. Back when I was a single parent and I only had two kids, and I've been paying that seed every year for her protection, for our protection. But I'm always thinking about her because if you ever had a child stay in the hospital for more than two days, then you understand. It's, it's no joke. It's, it's, it's very real. But we pay that, and it's, I, I believe I believe that it seals us for the whole year. It's symbolic. I put it in the ground, and I believe that what it says it's supposed to do, it's supposed to do. And now today, I can tell you that this year, today, um, we went to the doctor. She got her, um, she had to get a heart catheter where they put something in your thigh, and they shoot it up to where they can see your heart because, her heart has like a valve in it. And just imagine a water hose. Imagine water coming out of that water hose. Now imagine somebody putting their finger over that water hose. Less, less flow is coming out. 
that's what was happening with her heart. So because of that, and because she was only having operating on one ventricle, which I thought she was operating on one ventricle at the time, because your heart has two ventricles, a left side and a right side, and I thought she only had one, which is qualify her for a, a half a heart. <laughs> but she actually has two ventricles, but it's just really, really small. It's super, super small. And I just found out that when I went to the doctor's office, they was like, no, when she was nine months, we re-diagnosed her, and she actually does have a second one. When I was nine months in the ministry, I was in my, it was in December, I was thinking about backsliding. <laughs> and I was struggling with going back to the club and going back to my old lifestyle because I just felt like Christianity was so hard. It was just tough. It was so much going on. I didn't want to do it. Well, a couple of the ministers called me like, hey, we haven't seen you in church. Where are you at? You need to get to the house of the Lord. And I came back to church and I paid my yearly C. And that's the month that she, we found out that she was re-diagnosed, that her second ventricle was there enough to be considered better. So that's just all in itself blew my mind. But I was like, oh, okay, cool. So we went and got that. And then they also put a probe down her throat. And um, so they need to really see the heart. They need to get inside there. And so when they get inside there, it was determining she was up for surgery in this summer. Her summer was going to be spent recovering from the surgery she needed to get done. Also, they felt like something in her heart, she was going to have to get like a mechanical thing put in her heart. And I really didn't want no devices put in because those things can get infected. And then you can wind up going back and forth to the hospital. And it's just not good on your body. So the results that we came back with was that she does not have to get any surgery anytime soon right now. That's the one. I don't know. I don't know if y'all have kids, but just look at your child right now and imagine that they only have one ventricle. When we The flaps that we have in our heart, the ones that make our heart go in and out, she only has two of them. You're supposed to have three. She only has two, and they stick together, so they go like this. And her heart takes its time pumping. And the net, it's like narrow pumps in there. It's very small on that side. So she could be struggling. She could be doing anything. We could be in and out the hospital. We could be anywhere. But she went not anywhere. She models. She dances. She's in the house of God. She knows how to press in. <laughs> That's where we're at. <laughs> That's where we're at. And we give God all the glory for that because we know it's only him. She knows how to get into the presence of God. Like, I can't, I can't pay for that. I can't buy that. You can look at your 2,000 seed and you can be like, no, I want to keep this for something else. What can you pay for your child's protection? You know what's happening right now today, but you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen the next day. You don't know what's going to happen the rest of this year. So no surgery. Everything looks good. And on top of everything looking good, it looks like her heart is going to be able to where they can repair it itself to where it can function by itself, where she doesn't have to get any plastic devices in there. The narrowing that they thought was there where only a little bit of blood was flowing, it's not. It's bigger. The numbers are bigger than what they thought they were. She has an eight. Eight is new beginning. I believe that God has given her a new beginning. <laughs> like, and I know it's hard. Like, y'all, it's medical terminology. It's hard to explain it. But she was at a 15. The, the thickness was at a 15. When I went, she was at an eight. That's a seven <laughs> difference. That's seven numbers difference from what it was. So her blood flows fine. And they said, we think we're going to be, we're we just going to look and see what the game plan is, but we'll just revisit this a whole nother time. There's no pressure. We thought her heart was putting pressure on her lungs. So she wanted to go off her track, and they was like, no, not right now. We think it might be putting too much pressure on her lungs. It's only a couple of blood vessels bopped. You can pop a blood vessel on your eye. That's nothing. So her heart isn't putting any pressure on any of her other organs, which it could, but it doesn't. And so we're here, and she wasn't supposed to make it to 12, but look at us today. <laughs> God is good. God is very good. So thank you very much.